Monday, December 4th. So my mom, Tessie, brought home the next volume of the American Heritage Illustrated History of the United States. It was volume nine. And you see, this one is called Winning the West. This is all about cowboys and Indians. Mostly it's about cowboys killing Indians. Yeah, in, in the early 1960s, by December of 1963, when we got the volume, there was a, a lot of television and movies about cowboys and Indians, cowboys fighting with other cowboys, but mostly cowboys killing Indians. And mostly the story was, well, the Indians started this. The Indians were fighting the settlers and, and, and killing them, so, so the cowboys had to kill them back. Yeah, except that the Indians, the native people, they were the first people. The Euro-Americans were the second people. They were coming into the party that had already started, you see. And in the beginning, if it hadn't been for the Indians, the Euro-Americans would have starved to death. But that story gets kind of lost in the movies and TV and in the books. So in this book, we... Uh, we saw things like Indian resistance to the settlers, like here's a painting of Indians breaking up the railroad tracks to try to stop the railroads because they were coming in and bringing settlers with them. And uh, here's a painting that we saw, Ricky and I were sharing this, The Spirit of the Frontier. And in this painting, you can see all the little wagon trains and the railroad and the covered wagons are all coming west. And over here are the native people, the Indians and the buffalo, you see. And they're getting pushed further and further west into the mountains. And the spirit of the frontier is represented by this beautiful woman, this beautiful woman that's carrying the manifest destiny, the, the, the right of the frontier. And of course, it's men that are doing all the killing, but a, a beautiful woman is the, the symbol. Yeah, yep. So uh, Ricky and I were looking at this and the page just before that, he found this painting of Chief Joseph of the Nez Perce. And he's surrendering. You see, here's Chief Joseph, and there's the cavalry shadow in the painting. They have the cavalry on their horses, and their son is making the shadow. And there's Chief Joseph, finally surrendering. The cavalry chased Chief Joseph and his people a thousand miles, all the way up almost to the border of Canada, but finally they gave up. And Ricky, he's looking at this, and he in the book they have Chief Joseph's surrender. And Ricky reads it. I am tired of fighting. My people ask for food. I have none. It's cold. And, and we, we got no blankets, no, no wood. My people are starving. Where is my daughter? I don't know. Perhaps now she is even freezing to death. Hear me, my chiefs. I have fought, but from where the sun now stands, Chief Joseph will fight no more. Chucky, that's when they gave up. Yeah, yeah. And there was more. I mean, there was the, the ghost dance and the horrible massacre at Wounded Knee. Yeah, in, in volume nine of the American Heritage series, the white authors of these books started to tell the missing stories, the ones that were not so pleasant. And, uh, well, started to make a difference. Started to understand a little bit more. We'll, uh, we'll do another one again tomorrow. See you then.